Let's discuss the letter of compassion release and other statements that have been made regarding Grand Master Jay's supposed surgery. It has been claimed that Mr. Johnson was supposed to have had surgery. To be eligible for compassionate release, Mr. Johnson must have a terminal medical condition with a life expectancy of 18 months or fewer, or a debilitated medical condition with no hope of recovery, which may include cognitive impairment. However, each case is evaluated individually, and meeting the medical criteria alone does not guarantee release. The Bureau of Prisons BOP considers various factors, including the ability to reoffend, when making decisions about compassionate release. It is believed that this release will never happen and will be denied, along with other broken promises. Let's also examine the claims made about Grand Master Jay being released in the past with false claims among his followers. Last year, they stated he was going to be out in June and other dates that kept changing. However, he is still in jail. The letter to the president to pardon GMJ from prison also never materialized. Then, there was talk of an appeal that would secure his release, but it was denied. This could be due to him giving up his rights when he made a deal and pleaded guilty. This is believed to be the real reason behind the denial. After being rejected, it was claimed that he would go to the Supreme Court. But this too was denied and rejected before it could progress that far. Many are laughing at those supporting Grand Master Jay because it seems to be a recurring theme with his minion followers. All they seem to talk about is donating until they can come up with another bullshit story. This is why we are challenging the commanders to step up and stop hiding behind Grand Master Jay's minion skirt. They have an opportunity to redeem the NFAC and show themselves as men and real leaders. Here is the challenge we are offering to the NFAC commander's bishop, Hot Sauce and Falcon. We address you today with a proposal that seeks to clarify and strengthen your position within the community. Recent events have cast doubt on the authenticity of your claims, and we believe it is crucial to address these concerns head-on. We challenge you to demonstrate your commitment and authenticity through two tasks. First challenge, border protests to stop fentanyl drugs in our communities by stopping them at the border. Travel to the United States-Mexico border. Carry an NFAC flag and dress in full gear of 50 people or more. Protest against the influx of fentanyl drugs into our communities. Second challenge. Neighborhood protection by providing security to the black neighborhood business and reduce the gang crimes. Choose one neighborhood each in Chicago and Memphis. Provide security for the residents and black-owned businesses. Aim to reduce crime in these neighborhoods. Chicago Neighborhood Options. West Garfield Park, East Garfield Park, Inglewood, Fuller Park, Memphis Neighborhood Options, Parkway Village Oak Haven, Berkeley Highland Heights, Riverside, White Haven Coral Lake. To validate your completion of these tasks, we require raw video footage showing your actions and statements, along with testimonials from store owners and civilians in the protected neighborhoods. You have until the end of the month to complete the border protest challenge. If successful, we will support the NFAC by promoting your efforts and providing the following. Promotion of the NFAC through our channels. A professionally designed e-commerce website by a web development team. Everything paid for to generate money. Full equipment for NFAC members, including boots and full black uniforms, night vision goggles, level four hard armor plates, first aid kits, watches, GPS devices, and radio for communication. Two bulletproof armor SUVs for each city, wrapped with the NFAC logo. A $10,000 donation to support your ongoing efforts. We urge you to accept this challenge and prove your commitment to the cause. Please announce your acceptance in the African Times and begin preparations for the tasks ahead. And if you don't accept this challenge, then you just prove that you are all talk and a bunch of cowards. Kiss our ass, you fake toy soldiers. If you prove us wrong, then we will give you your flowers and we'll never make fun of the NFAC anymore. Okay, the ball is in your court. Man the F up and show us what you're really made of. Let us work towards a safer, more empowered community. No excuses, just a simple yes to accept the challenge.
Here's a detailed recap and breakdown of the list of demands. We are requested for NFAC Commander's Bishop, Hot Sauce, and Falcon. Addressing doubts and authenticity. Acknowledges recent doubts about NFAC's authenticity and urges them to address these concerns directly. First challenge, border protest. Task, travel to the United States-Mexico border with 50 or more NFAC members, carrying NFAC flags and dressed in full gear. Objective, protest against the influx of fentanyl drugs into communities. Purpose, demonstrate commitment and authenticity. Second challenge, neighborhood protection. Task, provide security to black neighborhood businesses and reduce gang crimes in the neighborhood. Specific actions. Provide 24-hour security for residents and businesses. Work with community leaders to reduce crime. Purpose. Show real presence and community involvement. Validation of completion. Requirements. Raw video footage, testimonials from store owners and civilians, and body cam or GoPro footage when providing protection. Video upload. Upload footage to YouTube channel, The African Times for validation and support. Neighborhood selection. Chicago. Choose one neighborhood from West Garfield Park, East Garfield Park, Inglewood, Fuller Park. Memphis. Choose one neighborhood from Parkway Village Oak Haven, Berkler Highland Heights, Riverside, White Haven Coral Lake. Support offered for completion. Promotion. Promotion of NFAT through the user's channels e-commerce website, a professionally designed website to generate revenue, equipment, full equipment for NFAC members, including uniforms, night vision goggles, armor plates, first aid kits, watches, GPS devices, and radios, vehicles, two bulletproof SUVs wrapped with the NFAC logo for each city, donation, a $10,000 donation to support ongoing efforts, Deadline and consequences. Deadline. End of the month for the border protest challenge. Consequences. If the challenge is not accepted or completed, it implies NFAC is not active or truthful. Challenge acceptance. Request to announce acceptance in the African Times and begin preparations for the tasks. Final message. Encouragement to accept the challenge and prove commitment. If not accepted, implies NFAC is not genuine. Closing statement. Offers acknowledgement and respect if in fact proves successful. Otherwise challenges their authenticity and courage. Thank you.